Ladies and gentlemen, I guess Christmas has come early today because one of the best role models of our entire generation has decided to give some valuable advice to young women. Her name is Mia Khalifa, and I'm sure you've heard of her. I hear that she's a very popular kindergarten teacher, right, for YouTube purposes. She she basically takes care of kids, okay? She takes care of, of millions and millions and millions of kids. Now, in this day and age, we have a very limited selection of people to actually look up to. Okay, because pretty much everybody is degenerate nowadays. Who is the most popular female role models now? Like all I've seen is like Lizzo and Kim Kardashian, which is just horrible role models all around, right? And I've always said to people like, be really careful who you look up to because chances are you might end up being exactly like them. Okay, take a look at this tweet. Mia Khalifa is giving young women marriage advice. Read that sentence again, this world is finished. So she's responding to a TikTok comment here. Facts, married at 18, divorced at 20, laughing emoji. Oh, we're comparing stats. Baby girl doesn't know that I am Tom Brady at this game. Married? Okay, right off the bat, being Tom Brady at marriage and divorces is not a good thing, okay? Marriage is something you're supposed to get into and stay for the rest of your life unless there's some, like, serious abuse going on, right? So people just willy-nilly living leaving marriages is not really something to brag about. It just shows that you can't keep a relationship, you know? Game. Married at 18, divorced at 21. Second marriage. Married at 25, divorced at 28. Third engagement. Engaged at 29, ended it at 30, but I kept the ring. I'm still keeping Tom Brady on his toes. We should not be afraid to leave these men. Yeah, we should take absolute all of, all of our marriage and relationship advice from Mia Khalifa, just the most wholesome and family-oriented woman on the entire planet. I cannot believe we are in a day and age where this woman feels comfortable bragging about getting three divorces. Brother, your life is an absolute shambles, all right? Oh my- On a real, how do you have the audacity to give any sort of relationship advice when you get more piping than the sewer systems in Africa? You can't be surprised that your marriages and relationships are completely failing when you threw away all your dignity at like age 18 to go into the hub industry. It's like, it's very, very hard for like an actual, you know, respectable man to, you know, go into a long-term relationship with someone like that because, I, I don't know, there's just a lot of stuff to unravel there, you know? We should not be afraid to leave these men. We are not stuck with these people. Marriage is not a sanctimonious thing. It is, it is paperwork. It's something, it's, it's, it's a commitment you make to someone. But if you feel like you're not getting anything from that commitment and you're amazing amazing this is I, I am absolutely not shocked at her mindset at all regarding marriage because that's the type of person she is just absolute degeneracy personified right so marriage is not a piece of paper how have we re how have we actually reduced it to that as a society okay it's a commitment you make to someone to love them for eternity basically and all healthy relationships require like some sort of sacrifice okay you can't be leaving at the first sign of trouble because then it's not really a marriage that's like a dating stage where you're just trying to get to know the person and then you leave the second you don't like them because when you when you actually get into a long term relationship obviously flaws are gonna start coming people start changing it's just you know th there's a certain few things you need to get down the thing is when you get into a relationship okay you cannot base it off of really like I don't know fadeable things such as looks money or status because these things are gonna come and go they might fluctuate now and then you need to base it off something more concrete like your values if you like enjoy spending all day every day with this person and you're prepared to spend that time the, the rest of your life if they're a good friend, if they're kind, blah, 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 if they truly understand you, because it, it seems like most people get into marriages based on infatuation, right? The, the whole love limerent stage where you think this person is absolutely infallible, and then you're surprised when the marriage absolutely crumbles. In fact, that part is not as important as just making this person like your best friend, you know? You're not getting anything from that commitment and you're trying, you gotta go, you gotta go, you have to go. 
I know it's difficult to fill out paperwork and to make appointments and to do all of these things, but this is your fucking life. Do you want to be stuck with someone? I wouldn't want to be stuck with you. That's, that's for sure. It is just laughable that she thinks that because she's been through like three marriages and three divorces, that makes her more qualified to give uh, advice on healthy relationships. That your, your, your qualifications do not go up as the number of divorces go up. That would be pretty counterintuitive, don't you think? I feel like the most qualified person is probably somebody who's uh, been in a relationship for several, 20, 40 years, and they, they have no signs of quitting, they're in a happy marriage, and they, they, tr they try to like give advice on you know how to get through different struggles, oh, you had some sort of a fight and you somehow got through it. Those types of people should be given the marriage advice. Definitely not you. Also, I really hate how this person just described the whole marriage thing as if uh, you wanna get something out of it, right? You wanna get some stuff off the other person, and if this person stops giving you what you need, you just immediately leave. I feel like it's supposed to be a mutual exchange. Obviously, you're giving each other companionship, you're giving each other love, and you're giving each other support, but you wonder why your three marriages failed when all you were looking to get out of a marriage is some sort of like a business deal, like, oh, this person needs to give me this sort of stuff. So I, I'm, I'm really not surprised at all. Now, obviously the best part are the replies in the quote tweets, so let's check it out. That doesn't sound like marriage advice. That's how to be successful at divorce. Okay, here we got this tweet saying, what she's saying here is pure common sense, lol. And yeah, your trad heteronormative world is finished, loser. Yeah, loser, you gotta be like me. Get in three marriages, divorce three times, be an absolutely husk of a human being, you know, give all my dignity to the entire world, say that I regret the career, but actually still do the same shit on Instagram and OnlyFans even now. It's really sad to see people like this desperately hang on to any sort of relevancy. And people actually getting behind this is downright ridiculous. I don't know how that's that's common sense like yes if you're married if you're not happy with your marriage you should be leaving but i don't think that's exactly what she described i think she was describing like leaving at any notice you know uh, and considering she's left three times or been divorced three times I, uh, I i cannot take her seriously at all world's upside down guys pimps give the boys advice how to be men corn actresses give girls advice about marriage and how to be girls if the world can't get more insane honestly huge props to anyone staying sane in this current landscape and current world because I've been seeing like just the people around me slowly and slowly just get absolutely corrupted. There's people I've been talking to who have been completely sane their entire life and then snap and they've done something that is, uh, you can't take back basically. I'll, I might elaborate in future videos, but anyways, oh my God, it would make more sense if she was giving advice on how to properly get GB'd, gang uh, thinged. Oof. well, Okay, I think we we probably should end the video there. Subscribe to keep your sanity, and uh, hopefully we'll get through this together, guys. Uh, don't fall for any of this BS, please.